aluminum scales that have been oxidized. The ALOX. Pretty cool, right? As hikers and backpackers, we're no strangers to lists. One of those lists we all have. Items that we never leave home without. We always bring them, no matter what. They're there. Now, these lists vary from person to person. They're all different. But we all have them. And one of those items on that list, for me, is this knife right here. This is a Swiss Army champ. I've been carrying this knife for years. It's an unsung hero. And as you can see, it's a little bit big and bulky. That never really bothered me. But lately, I've been starting to count those grams. So in an effort to reduce that pack weight, I went out and I got myself a new one. This is the Swiss Army Cadet, the ALOX. And I gotta tell you, this is a really cool knife. Now there's absolutely nothing wrong with this knife. I love it, this is a great knife. But when you see the two side by side, it's real easy to see where I'm heading here. This is the Champ, and it's loaded with features, but it weighs 5.4 ounces compared to the 1.6 that we have here. Just in this one item alone, a knife, almost a quarter pound of weight gone. But it doesn't always just come down to weight. It's easy to get caught in that trap. There has to be some function there too. If this knife is almost a quarter pound lighter than the other one, but it's useless, there's no point at all in carrying it whatsoever or making the switch. Might as well just stick to the old knife. However, this has a couple key features on it that I think are gonna be really useful for backpacking. So let's talk about this little guy. The panels of this knife are made from embossed aluminum. It's aluminum that's been put through a press or rolled for this texture that you see on the knife. It gives the knife a good feel, good positive purchase. It's not slippery. It won't be slipping out of your hands. Then the scales are anodized in a process called anodic oxidation. It's an electrochemical process that removes all the electrons from the aluminum and provides an oxidized finish, increasing corrosion and wear resistance. And it also provides superior adhesion for primers, paints, and glues. That combination of the materials used to make this knife and the process that they went through are how this knife got its name. Aluminum scales that have been oxidized. The ALOX. Pretty cool, right? This is a small knife. That's part of its charm. It has a closed length of approximately three and one quarter inches. The blade is approximately two and one eighth of an inches long, bringing the knife to a total length of five and three quarter inches. The knife has a depth of five sixteenths of an inch and a width of 7 eighths of an inch at its widest point. Now this is a Swiss Army knife, so it goes without saying that this thing is razor sharp right out of the box. You buy this, you take it out of its package, and it's shaving sharp. Guaranteed. They use stainless steel for their blades. I am not a knife expert. I don't know what kind of steel it is. The features on this knife are simple and useful. We have the blade, can opener, and a small screwdriver. There's a nail file. And there's a bottle opener and another big flathead screwdriver. Also worth noting is right here. This little hole right there, that is a wire stripper. The screwdriver and bottle opener flips up, holds at a 90 degree angle. You put your wire into that hole right there and the blade comes down and allows you to twist your wire and then strip it. Pretty neat little features. One of the things that I saw that would be potentially really useful for me in a backpacking situation was the small flathead screwdriver. Because in my first aid kit, I carry these. Now this is an emergency buckle, which is a godsend. Because when a buckle breaks when you're out in the middle of nowhere, it sucks. It sucks. I learned my lesson a long time ago, so I always carry these. Now they have a little Phillips head this guy just fits right in here nicely and I know I can manipulate it now this is pretty handy because if any of the buckles on my bag break while I'm on trail I know I can fix them I would highly suggest and strongly recommend that everyone get a set of these they are worth every single penny and gram when you need them Swiss Army knives take a certain degree of care when you're using them because they're not completely locking I mean they do snap into place but that's this is not a locked knife there is some resistance there there's a cam in there and that will slide down and hold it into place but it's not a lock this will fold in on you and cut 
Also, there's a little bit of a spring action when you go to close it. So if you get your fingers caught in there, you could, you could get bit. These knives will bite you. You must be careful with them. Needless to say, I'm pretty excited about this knife. I mean, it's nothing new. It's not a new product. These things have been out for years, but it's new to me and I'm excited about it. I paid $40 for this knife and I feel like that's a fair deal. I've seen them a little bit cheaper and I've seen them a little bit more expensive. So I'm happy with that purchase. However, this knife has caught me by surprise. A little bit off guard because I bought this thinking backpacking, lightweight backpacking, slightly minimalist approach. And I have found myself over the last few days carrying this in my pocket all day long. So I think this might end up being my new EDC. I like it that much. It's thin, it's small, it's got just about everything I need on a somewhat daily basis. I'm going to use this as an EDC, an adventure knife, f until I lose it or it breaks, whichever comes first. I suspect I'll end up losing it. That's the, that's the problem with a knife that's this small, is that you don't notice it when it's gone. We'll see. Time will tell. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.